First, there was the top running back in the MEAC, Sylveon Wilkerson. Then, there was the electrifying DB, Isaiah Guthrie. And now, there's possibly this guy. Jackson State is stacking up on MEAC talent. You know what they say. If you can't beat him, join him. Who is the guy? Where will he end up? And will he make an impact on the field once he gets there? If you enjoy this type of content, consider hitting the subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Without further ado, let's get into it. This is the story of yet another trailblazer who was out to bring black colleges back to prominence. This is the story of Marcus Winfield. Winfield is a six foot three, 250 pound red shirt sophomore from Cheltenham, Pennsylvania, where he attended Cheltenham High School. He graduated high school in 2019 and was a bit of a late bloomer. He had great size for his level of competition, but not for college. Where he did excel was his motor and all around tenacity. In high school, he lettered on varsity his final two years. But you know what they say, good things come to those who wait. Check out some of his stats. He was all district, all state, all first team, the whole shebang. In his two years of playing ball in high school, he was credited with over 120 tackles and seven stacks. He also helped lead his team to their first playoff win since 2001 as a senior. His success on the field should come as no surprise to anyone who does research on his pedigree. Marcus comes from a football family. His father, Jason, was a standout defensive lineman for Delaware State from 1988 to 91 and a member of the Hornets 88, 89, and 91 MEAC championship teams. He's also the grandson of Vernon Winfield, a six-round NFL draft pick to the Philadelphia Eagles. Even with his performance on the field and his family history, he wasn't recruited heavily. He had two offers to choose from, Stetson College and Delaware State University. Given that his father went to Delaware, it was only right that his son followed in his footsteps. He thanked everyone who had something to do with his development and ended it by announcing his commitment to Delaware State. I'm not saying that Marcus isn't naturally talented or athletic, but what I will say is that he worked harder than most, both on the field and in the classroom. He's already graduated from college with a 3.5 I may add, and he also has two more years of eligibility. He's transferring, so as you would expect, things weren't ideal for him on the field. In his two years of action as a Hornet, he had a total of 12 tackles, two and a half sacks, and one fumble recovery. It's still not a foregone conclusion that he will end up at Jackson State. Since entering the transport portal, he's picked up offers from Kent State, UT Martin, Murray State, Tarleton State, the University of New Mexico, Jacksonville State, and of course, Jackson State. I'm not saying he will end up at Jackson State, but it's highly likely. What impact do I see him having? Whatever school he lands at, I'm not too familiar with the depth chart at other programs, but the mass transfer numbers at Jackson State are ideal for Marcus to come in and play right away. I think he would do great. His impact does go beyond the stat sheet, of course. He's constantly making QBs uncomfortable, blowing up run plays, and he's smart, so he reads what the linemen are doing so that he ends up in the right position. I'm not really sure why he didn't play much at Delaware, but one person's trash, it's another one's treasure. He will be announcing his commitment on January 9th. So I guess we will find out if he and Nas Gaddy will be wreaking havoc on the swag next season. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments. If you made it to the end, type in three for three in the comment section. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. We on the road to 20K. From us, over here at HBCU Spotlight, we out of here. Peace. Did you know that Jackson State just signed a new player who had over 40 scholarship offers and is recruiting other top talent to come join him? Click on the video on the screen to find out more.